how to connect shopify with facebook and instagram shop hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can connect your shopify account with your facebook or instagram shop so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first what you can do is there are two ways basically right you can go to facebook right you could uh, open up your business manager right right here uh, go to all tools and underneath sell products and services you will find commerce you open it up it's going to take you over here to the e-commerce manager now underneath commerce manager you just simply select the account or business account that you want to connect your shopify account with and then what you can do is you can go ahead and click on add catalog right here so if i click on add catalog and over here we select the type of catalog you want so we have e-commerce products we click on next then we just simply click on connect a partner platform all right it, this will automatically import items from your store such as shopify into your shop so we then select shopify right here we click on go to shopify and over here we log in into install right let's go ahead and click on login i'm already logged in but i gotta do it again let's see right here and over here we are going to add this sales channels this was the second option by the way but i thought maybe it would do another cool thing but it, it actually didn't it bypassed that just skipped everything and just came over here so this is also a second way that you could do this uh skip adding the partner right here just open up your shopify go to the sales channels and just simply search for facebook and instagram right here if i search for facebook and just simply search for facebook and instagram right here if i just simply search for facebook click on enter it's going to open up right here and i can find facebook and instagram right here there you go then we can go ahead and install it so you could do that but uh let's go ahead and click on update sales channels right here wait for a couple of seconds for it to be installed and now we can go ahead and start setting it up all right you could just simply click on start setup right here and simply click on connect account so connect your facebook account right here and once it's over here just simply choose the account you want so we have a bunch of different accounts right here uh, we can select these ones because we don't have any you know presence and these ones are already connected to another shopify account so we're gonna select these two or one we're gonna select this one and click on connect now next is the data sharing preference so you have three options conservative enhanced and maximum oops i forgot let me enable that conservative enhanced and maximum in maximum uh, you're going to be sharing all of your data with facebook so that you're getting maximum you know uh, options enhanced some people are being selected some aren't and then conservative only a few select you know people or type of data is being selected i'd recommend going with the maximum if you want to get the maximum deal then just simply click on save wait for a couple of seconds and then just simply create a pixel all right uh, we've already had a bunch of pixels that we have created so we're just simply going to choose the pixel right here if you uh, want to know how to create a pixel or how can you connect a pixel to a shopify store or facebook pixel to a shopify store we've done tons of videos on those in the channel you can go ahead and check them out as well so for now we're just simply going to go ahead and select a pixel we'll just simply click on connect pixel is connected agree to the terms and services and click on submit for review and after that oops something went wrong and after that once they've reviewed everything your instagram shop will be set up and then you can add more details to it as well all right something went wrong so let me just do all of this over again so that you know we don't waste any more time there we go and it says so right here you already have a catalog connected to shopify right by a business account which is this one right here and only assets by this account can be added to your shop all right to connect to a different page or instagram you'll need to add it in the asset in the business you know suite so keep that in mind so we already have that we already connected it but how do i we're done so over here 
if I open it up right here, we got a bunch of different accounts, as you can see right here. And if I click on more, we go into catalogs. We can see we have a bunch of different options. These are like different catalogs from different uh, accounts that I had created. So you don't have to worry about it. If you're wondering how you could create a catalog, well, if you connected your account with your Shopify account, all of the products that you have right here, they would automatically be shifted over to your Instagram shop but if you want to do it manually what you could do is just simply click on upload product photos right here and click on create right once you've created a catalog let me show you let's go ahead and click on view catalog over here in the catalog you have items you have sets issues and data sources right you just simply click on items right here and just simply click on add item and over here you can add them manually or data feed you can use a spreadsheet or to file to add or update your items automatically you can go with the partner platform as well you can select it from here you can go with the pixel use your facebook pixels to automatically add items to your website it depends on you right let's go ahead and select that you select shopify go to shopify of course complete the setup add that right there but if you go with manually click on next now here you can manually enter in your item. So just simply click on new item, right? It's going to add new items like so. You can add the title right here. You can add the images underneath images by clicking on this blue button and dragging and dropping uh, videos and images, adding descriptions, website links, prices. You have sales prices, categories, availability, stocks, and all of that. You can add all these different items or different you know, information right here and you are good to go and once you've done that you're basically it you're basically good to go so of course make sure to add the sales channels right here make sure that your facebook and instagram sales channel is pixels are properly set up and there's no hiccup and once that's done you should be good to go so i've already connected my account i just need to select the proper one which is this one right here but as you can see, I have a lot of different accounts, so I really don't know which one I actually selected. I think it could be this one. Let me check if I come over here, go to the commerce manager and over here. Here we go. Yeah, we already have the shop right here. As you can see, Shopify shop. This was an older shop, but yeah, it is currently inactive. I mean, I do need to set it into active, but yeah as you can see we have the shop now button as well and yeah we also have the website and stuff like that but yeah so it is actually working and we could go into different shop settings and add different stuff to it so pretty simple guys remember just right here as you can see underneath shops we got the shop right here i don't have any products yet but we are good to go so yeah simply add it to over here just simply add fill out this form give it the information that they require Make sure to properly create your page, data sharing terms and conditions, and submit for review. After a couple of hours, they would have reviewed your submission and send you an email whether you're, and telling you whether you're approved or not. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.